Hey, what's up, Snoop Dogg? The veteran rapper is getting philosophical in his 40s. He explains the buzz of working with stars like Miley Cyrus on ashtrays and heartbreaks. When you're working with mega stars, it's like it's more pressure to try to come up with that big record and then the pressure of, you know, knowing that I've made successful records and they've made successful records and we just try to, you know, press the same, you know, volume to make that same thing come together to create that new thing. He admits that at 41, this dog's getting long in the tooth. Hip-hop is very effective right now. Like I say, it's a young man's game. And for those like myself who've been in it for a while, we have to learn how to step back and allow the youngsters to do what they do with the game like we did what we did with it. The rapper went all reggae for his last album, a change so radical he needed a new name, Snoop Lion. For that style of music, I chose that name because I felt like I wanted to separate, you know, my past music from the music that I was creating for the future. But definitely, you know, I'm always going to be the dog and I'm going to continue to make hip-hop records. And if his musical career falls apart, he's also a giant of advertising, most recently for Snack Hot Pockets. But Snoop insists he's no sellout. It's not a, a gimmick, it's not any products that I promote or push that I don't feel connected to. Everything that I'm endorsing, I feel like they're part of who I am. But music's still his passion and brace yourself, he's promising us another reggae album.